Hello Power Users, Zbigniew Fukowski here and today we will be talking about split functions in Power Automate Desktop. We will be looking at part of the split function. We will be talking a little bit about regex, also see the results of the split functions on the real life example of the split functions and see the details of this very useful uh, function in Power Automate Desktop. So, Without further ado, let's start. Okay, let's start. So here I have a simple Power Automate desktop flow, which is just uh, getting clipboard text, trimming the spaces from uh, beginning and uh, the end, and splitting the text. So we would like to see how the split will go. Here I have uh, on my notepad the, the mm, names of the board games which I want to uh, split. So this is a simple text. I will now uh, create a clipboard text. And in my flow, I'm getting clipboard text just like this. And this will produce the clipboard text uh, variable. And streaming, which is, uh, which is not mandatory, and then splitting the text. So in the split, let's look how this, um, this split text is working. First of all, we want to have um, the text to split. So this is a trimmed text, which is a variable from the second action. And this uh, persons are indicator of the, the this is uh, context, in context of the variable. This is not a plain text, right? Because you, you, sh you surely can, can create a plain text here or just to split it. And the most important factor is the delimiter type. We can have three del delimiter types. First is the number of characters, which is as easy as it sounds. So I won't uh, give it as example. This will just uh, take the text and split based on the the width uh, which is which is uh, used here so after five text i will split 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 until the end of the text this will cl create the list because variable produced is the text list here so this should be um this will be if you know programming this will be basically a table with uh, uh, indexes from zero to eternity based on the text right so this is the first. The second is the custom, uh, the custom delimiter type. And I can give, for example, uh, let's, I don't know, let's create the commas. Let's separate the commas here and go with this. Copy, let's, let's here um, set custom delimiter as a comma. Let's save it and let's, let's run this. Cool, cool, cool. So trim text, we have a, a text list, uh, which was created with the separation of the, the comma. Okay, so we have three uh, text list values, cut and code names and pixels, and of course the delimiter types are ignored. And then the last one was, was just uh, everything which was after the last delimiter. So this is working. As you can see, this, this is important because this is a variable value. You can see that this is the, the proper list. And you can call this list based on the positions. If, if I want to, uh, for, for example, to call the uh, text, list, uh, text list and have mixels, I will use the text list and two which indicate the position because this is the second one we're starting from zero and uh, not from the one this is important okay so we have uh, our second um, our second custom delimiter type used and the last one the standard one um, which can have like the spaces the tab or the new line so we, we are using the new line here and um, in the times Let's specify uh, how many times the delimiter is used. Let's say one and save and go with the flow. Let's run it. 
yeah, this is exactly the same re results, but but now with the with the comma because we had the comma here. Okay, so if I will change this to two, the new lines and create in here additional enter additional line. Let's copy this because we are having this in our clipboard. So if I use use this, then I will have the list with proper uh, proper. Uh, uh, number of items okay and the last thing because those are 3d delimiters but i will just want to you to focus on the the custom part because custom delimiters can have additional type of the delimiter and this is the regular regular expression and uh, this is a regular expression like, like like you see here and if i want to for example use an irregular expression this is the one and uh, let's say let's give it a go let's use just one space let's see here okay let's copy this so this will create uh, me a proper list as well because this regular expression with the small s is used for the white characters, uh, which space, of course, is because it's the space here. So this is a white character and we can have one or more. This plus is indicator of one or more. Yeah, and if you save it, you go or you take a run. Oh, sorry, save it, you can take a run. You place this in the clipboard text. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's, it's working. Okay, so now about regex. Regex is a simple programming, let's say, language, just to make uh, things easier, to find patterns in a text uh, or in a given num given range of characters. So it, it it's all it does. It's to create. Uh, uh, see for uh, sorry it's to look for patterns and then uh, create groups from it and then you can work with the groups so if you want to learn regex i would recommend regex 101 when you where you can just insert your regular expression or and insert your test uh, regex string just to see if it matches on the right side you you can have the popular characters used in regex so you can create your own but you don't have to create create something which is already invented so one more thing i could recommend to you is just there are many sites with uh, popular regex already built so the only thing you would need from those sites would just to be a copy paste and you have the working regex you don't have to invent the popular uh, the popular regex is uh, by yourself but if you are using any difficult advanced scenario then yes you can create your own it's not that bad as it looks because this is for for you probably this is uh, just a gibberish <laughs> uh, but for me it's actually readable i don't know those uh, patterns by uh, uh, by memory, of course, I'm just using, I'm just uh, remembering them from the time I was uh, using the regex. So each time I need it, I just recreate my knowledge from, from the bottom, from the scratch. So this is all. I hope you had a great time and you learned something. If yes, you can play sub, like, etc. On my, uh, on my channel, I have a lot of other stuff regarding Power platform, power apps, and power up to my desktop. So, see you later. It's Bignie Fukowski out.